this season, but she is a, a big name in this volleyball world. So 25th season at the helm, just a legend in the sport national titles, eight NCAA finals appearances, including in 12. It really starts with the culture too. One thing that John Cook says, I mean, she's been there for more than that. And the thing is, is he's able to adjust with the times. He's so forward in, in and this is a direct quote, he sees his players as people before he sees them as players. First serve, and this matchup is officially underway. It's a tough serve. That's exactly what the Illini wanted to do, and they start things off with an ace. Part of the game plan, but especially stick on to those fundamentals against the top-ranked team. Another tough serve gets things going, and the Illini fired up at the block. The Big Ten, you're going to get their A game if you're Nebraska. Avery Hernandez bringing it at the service line. Illinois keeps it alive off the block. Cross court shot hits the corner. It's got offensively very versatile attacking. Land fair off the block. This little shot kept alive. Rodriguez sets this one up. Beeson ends up just going low runs. Nebraska right here needs to side out and stop this momentum from Illinois. Well, service errors, <laughs> one way to stop the ball, South Dakota native, going up against her sister on the other side of the net, and Reagan Riley, who we expect to enter this match shortly. Tough serve from the Huskers this time. And she's really come in this year and made a positive impact, learning week by week, match by match, set by set. Rodriguez goes to work. Beeson with another kill. Sets such a great tempo. As much as she's a great setter and able to get her hands on every ball, Lexi Rodriguez is a complete brick wall back there. Rodriguez, the reigning Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week. That shot down the line. Falls. Point Huskers. Rodriguez can come in and take it with her platform. And Lexi's great at that just out of system five and five ball with a little bit of tempo. Nice tip over the block, Terry. But Raina Terry is crafty, reaches into that toolbox. Almost an ace. Huskers, though, come up with something out of system. I mean, it incorporate her middles and her middles, Andy Jackson in this case, know to commit to the bit and jump with her. I love Blackwell with her first kill of the match. Beeson, nice serve. That one off the net. Point Huskers. Touch, purposeful first touches. Senior outside Merritt Beeson back at the service line. First team All-American. That ball goes out of play. Point for the Huskers. Or point Illinois, rather, after the Huskers. That ball took a touch or not. Team, and something you pointed out after their USC match. It is called out. No touch, and also that, I mean, the Huskers have just, I feel like I just went on a rant about momentum, and now all the momentum is in the Huskers' side of the court. Beeson with the serve. Tough ball off the net. It does go wide, so that's a point on the gas, and they do not let up. Beeson. Another tough serve. She's looking really good. But how about Terry? Point one one kills per set, more than five points per set as well. Top 20 in the country. Free ball over. This little find to Blackwell. Tough rally point Cornhuskers. The national championship where she is just a competitor and she has her game face on in every single point, including back at the service line. I mean, the maturity that she has. America third team selection in the Big Ten a freshman of the year a season ago. Tough one off the block. Illini keep it alive. Terry out of the back row. Free ball over. Bergen Riley. Crafty move by the Husker center. Really quick, great free ball from... It's really just fantastic. Overpass does end up being sent out of play. Point Illini. 
has been talking about defense and that's what allows Nebraska to be so dynamic offensively is the fact that so the point goes back to Nebraska now they have a four point lead Henry with the serve keeps it alive tipped over sent right back big swing from Hernandez somehow kept in play great hustle by the Illini big swing though and Landfair gets it down fill that hole from Mundo but that's difficult to do way to see the court from Taylor Landfair 5-0 scoring run going for the Huskers off the block and out of play point for the Illini runs you just don't want to get your deficit bigger than four it's really hard to dig yourself out of a four-point run hole and Illinois is gaining some momentum into their senior setter Reagan Riley at the service line it does end up with a service error but the other half of Bergen Riley who I mentioned the two sisters going up against her she credited her sister with the reason why she knows how to set because it was Bergen who actually was an outside in high school and Reagan was setting her sister up, who's now one of the best setters in the country. Tip. Great play. Landfair with a little off-speed shot. Big swing from Hernandez. Right off. Bloomington, Illinois native coming back closer to home. Not that she went too far to Evanston. Rocket of a serve is too strong. Now, in Chris Tomas, when he was talking about Avery Hernandez, he said, you know, look, like we see from Raina Terry, but consistent, and that is the goal when, you, when you're up there swinging at the net. Riley with another tough serve, Hernandez. Off the block. Yelena getting it. If it's high to the middle of the court, she's still able to run her offense and incorporate Laney Smith. Riley goes middle to Alec. Does end up going out of play. Point for Illinois. They're close. Nebraska middles not paint the edges, but again, that's a part of the high risk, high reward of getting up there and swinging on those balls. As Nebraska on the front and then Illinois on the back. Come on, you can find something like that. Custom. Make it. Hey, you know what? <laughs> There's a world out there for that, man. Side of hot ball with the back at the service line, Christina Martinez Mundo Murray off speed, nice pancake by Martinez Mundo, and the Illini cash in. And there, we, we talked about this impressive libero, though, she's got a lot of range, able to cover a lot of ground, and she is vocal, she's the loudest one in the gym. Alec puts one over, gets the point. Nebraska leads by two. And this is what separates Nebraska from everyone else. Their players are so disciplined despite the age. They're able to understand when to swing and when to reach into the toolbox and bring out those crafty hits. Rodriguez with the serve. High ball for Terry. Point for Nebraska called no touch. Just squeaked over the block, maybe. It's a nice inside. I like how she's going with it and just trying to swing and attack. If you're Coach Thomas, you're not upset. You're gonna you're gonna green light that any day. Block sent back over, but out of play. Long the block, a line I point. Angle and go line mixing up her shots. A nice serve. Beeson. It's the point for Nebraska. Yeah, a one ball. We grade passes on a scale of one to three in this sport, and I give that one a solid one, but because you have Bergen Riley as a setter, that's a three ball. Beeson with the dig. Murray slams it down. Nebraska leads by four. And I love that in the country. And again, it, we'll be saying this all night. It's not just that it's the Big Ten. The, the, the reality is 
there in Nebraska, and their reputation precedes themselves, and you want to win. This, this match is circled for everybody who plays them. Tip kept in play. Already tried the off speed. Beeson out of the back row. Finds the line, Point Huskers. Look at how excited everyone is. Everybody, Harper Murray goes back to Mayor Beeson. Gosh, that was so great. I mean, that was really great. Coming out of the back row, second step, really quick back row attack from that middle. And this team knows when to reach into the toolbox. They have so many abilities and tools. Back time, though, the Illini respond like something really clicked where she's able to put that tempo on the balls, especially in those connections with her middles. Coach Thomas mentioned the ball just jumps out of her hand as a service error will lead to a side out for Nebraska. But Ashlyn Philpott and the other freshman, Lainey Smith, played together and are from the same area, which is just kind of a weird coincidence. Greenville, North Carolina, and Durham, North Carolina, but played at Triangle Volleyball Club, so competed together at the club level. It's kind of a weird coincidence. Very well-known club, too, if you're in the volleyball world. Great reputation. Nice back row hit. Murray, nice dig. Hernandez. From the back row, Murray. Sent over by Hernandez. Great D by the Illini. What a rally. Still in play. Wow. Landfair swings, and it's still in play. Martinez Mundo did everything possible to keep that rally alive, and the Illini make the most of it. Knows to incorporate that slide. Illini with incredible defense on that play, but it's a nice little off-speed shot, little campfire there from Landfair. First set, but again, the Illini defense really commendable. Uh, and you're going to get that heart, that hustle. I mean, Mundo has that heart and hustle. As a libero, if I'm walking into the gym as a libero, you need to be the loudest one on the court, and she does that. Coach Thomas pointed out, Eastern Illinois transfer brings the fieriness to the floor. Landfair blocked. Landfair again. This time, tools it off the block. Point for Nebraska. No, and I, and I got to shout out our guy Lincoln Arneal. We're going to be if you're if you're not following along on Twitter with him, he's fantastic. He goes the last couple of rallies, Terry kill twice, and then Terry kill air. She can. Plenty of work for the Illini tonight. Illini with the and then utilize Brooke Mosher, Mosher, yeah, Mosher as a hitter and an attacker because she is a really good offensive player. Mosher averaging just about one kill per set as the service error will lead to a side out and a set point distribute and utilize a lot of players. Whereas Illinois, you're, you're going to get a lot of jumps from people. Brooke Mosher coming in and missing her serve. Yeah, that happens. Rodriguez, nice dig. Landfair puts it down, and they're set number one in the books in Champaign. Nebraska Cornhuskers take a one-set lead. Taylor, six rotation player, but you just saw in that first set. Pay attention. Keep track of when she's swinging hard, and then when she reaches in that toolbox and she tips and rolls. Just there as the Illini start off strong here in set number two and a strong serve as well landfair tough swing hits off the block many holes speaking of freshmen olivia mauk getting into the game the defensive specialist for the huskers having a nice freshman season as terry hits it off the block oh what a kill from merritt beeson She's going to capitalize. Beeson averaging 2.84 kills per set coming into this match. Terry Rodriguez just gets it over. And Beeson.
Johnson finishes the point. But Lexi Rodriguez somehow taking a step off of the net and putting over a nice heavy swing. Malka Bennington, Nebraska native. Tough battle at the net there. Battles after points. It feels like they are just speaking to each other via telepathically. Oh, quick set and a quick kill from Philpott. Service error, though, does lead to a point for Nebraska. But again, Ashlyn Philpott, the freshman middle blocker, a player who Coach Thomas mentioned, live arm, really fast swing, and can get on the ball quickly. That's what we just saw in that point prior. Rodriguez, the senior out of Sterling, Illinois, at the service line. Oh, and again, Philpott shows what she can do. Swing faster. It's like, imagine your elbow to your hand is a whip. She has a natural talent to be able to do that. A little joust at the net. Beeson goes... Terry, well-placed serve. Nice dig. How about Lily Berry fired up after she kept that ball up? Great serve from three about two hitters at that point, able to execute and then transition into their offense effectively. Terry with the serve. High one for Beeson to put it right back down. Get a lot more with the senior libero defensive specialist Caroline Barnes out dealing with an injury. Overpass slammed right back down. Birkin Riley. Everything in me not to go, whoa, what a serve from Merritt Beeson because she's going kind of across court in the float. Pay attention to how it drops. Now we kind of have this thing, this this little quip. Left is right, right is wrong. That right side platform angle, really hard. And then Illinois does a great job of a hard set from where that ball is coming on serve receive. That one finds the corner. Nebraska gets it right back, but Philpott with five kills hitting four. Blackwell also having a really effective game here. Three kills now for the Huskers. Murray. Nice up. Terry from the back row sent back. Oh, what a shot. Really well done by Hernandez. Higher defense, remember, your block is how your defense establishes where they're supposed to be on the court. Riley tries the dump. Martinez Mundo's there. Sent over by Murray. Off the block and out. Avery Hernandez does it again. What a Almost a free ball situation. Illinois able to transa transition fast and effectively. Mosher with a laser of a serve. Joe Boy came up with the receive. Big kill from Smith. You don't know where she's hitting the ball, doing a great job of keeping Nebraska guessing. Mosher doing a great job from the service line. Free ball over. Tip off the block. Avery Hernandez. Get that Nebraska puts over. Illini now with a two-point lead. Mosher sends over another bullet. Landfair. Hernandez dug up by Murray. Just at the net point. Illini. Mosher. Is at the service line again. Wow. An ace for Brooke Mosher. She is on fire. Even Lexi Rodriguez cannot return this ball. I mean, there's not much you can do when the ball's coming that fast and that deep. You kind of got to gamble and say, well, I kind of hope it's out, especially in the scene. She's exactly between those two players. 
Mosher's first ace of the match. As that time, it's a little too strong. So again, we kind of pointed out the risk reward. I mean, that's kind of the philosophy in college volleyball now is instead of just being safe with your serve, uh, uh, a coach put this like this the other day, I'd rather take four misses on serves instead of five first ball side outs because of, but you're really just going to force the other team out of system, target specific players. Kind of that word purposeful comes up. You want purposeful serves. That ball goes out of play, but want to mention Kennedy Orr, as we were talking about service aces, just had an ace a point prior to the game. So we're seeing a little bit of the not usual suspects for Nebraska playing, getting some reps. Point of line eyes, they go to the service line after the touch on that last ball. Landfair, deny. Landfair again. Net violation is called. So that is going to be a point for the Huskers. At the service line. Terry. Illinois holding this three-point lead. They're able to execute. Martinez Mundo with the serve. Landfair. It's that undefendable donut in the middle of the court. Smith with six kills. Tough serve. <laughs> Terry! Oh, Rodriguez! Somehow keeps it up. Terry again off the block. Set to the middle, set right back over. Becca Alec says, thank you very much. There's no other way to Alec able to shut any momentum that Illinois has down. Malk at the service line. Terry. Tunes it off the block, four point lead for the Illini. Tied for the team lead with Hernandez. Another service error, so that's nine now for the Illini. When it comes to drawing that line between too aggressive or <laughs> Kylan, but I will say, uh, 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 you know, my college coach used to say, hey, if you're going to miss it, make sure you're missing it over the net. So it gives it a chance for the other team to at least get their hands on it or make a mistake themselves. Now, again, the general consensus and, and vibe that every NC2A coach across every conference has navigated towards is I'd rather have a purposeful serve going up there instead of just some dainty lollipop. The block party going for the Huskers, that last point. Murray! After your game at home is what I'm being told that it said. <laughs> Nebraska fans are ruthless. We love them. Y'all, you're listening. You have done tremendous positive impact on this sport. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. Merritt Beeson gets the kill. She says thank you. Set number two is now tied up at 16 apiece. Let's just it. Illinois goes in a 5-0, 6-0 scoring run coming out of that timeout. And Nebraska says, okay, yeah, we can do that. Of course, we don't even have, you know, the players that have played the most sets this mat this this season, we can still do that. Rodriguez with the ace to give Nebraska a one-point lead. She is the best libero in the country. Almost, It's almost speechless to talk about her because there's just nothing she does poorly. That one does go long. So another point for the Huskers. They overtake the three of the five calls. You can also reverse the call on those. Set number two now tied after that call was overturned. Beeson sent right back at her. Beeson that time. Really smart. Nebraska one point lead. Well, why wouldn't you if you're Bergen Riley? Why wouldn't you just keep setting her? Keep setting her. Keep setting her. She knows how to put balls down. She knows. Even though everybody's kind of over the clock and she's going to be mismatched, she can handle it. 
Beeson now at the service line. Beeson with the ace. Back-to-back -back points. One by Merritt Beeson. 6-4, senior outside hitter, has had an electric career, and you see during those last couple points that experience come to play. <laughs> the one thing I had in my scouting of Merritt, <laughs> Merritt Beeson was she has a nasty serve. <laughs> Touch is called, point for the Illini, which makes it that much important to go. Riley. Other Riley. <laughs> Blackwell. Ends up going long, so it's a point for the Illini. Love it. Their energy with those two and seeing Bergen Riley talk about her sister this week was, it just it made me all warm and fuzzy. Hernandez off the block. Great D, though, by the Huskers. Hernandez off hands. Murray. Oh, great hustle. Murray tries again. Barry keeps it in play. Every time you walk into someone else's gym or someone else walks into your gym, you got a target on your back. They're bringing their A game. Murray into the block. Wow. Carrie Bohm, all smiles after that one. Murray, response. Opportunity, get your confidence back rolling. Pass. No problem for the Huskers. Blackwell right up there with Landfair. Landfair with six. Hernandez. Murray the dig. How about that attack? Blackwell. In the Big Ten that make it such a hard conference to play in. Well, when you know Nebraska's coming to town, too, you're going to sell out because people come for a show. And this second set certainly has been that. Husker. Illinois trying to break that momentum that Nebraska just got. And then look at that little bit late on the block, but still putting her hands up again. It's so imperative that your hands are just pressed over the net. Huge momentum shifter or, or keeping that momentum in Nebraska's favor. And Illinois back in there with the momentum. This is just back and forth. Down one, three points to win the set. We have one of the most dynamic servers for Illinois back at the service line. Mosher with one ace so far. A little back set to Smith. Nebraska with a set point. Taylor. Kennedy Orr with the serve. And it's going to be a service ace for Kennedy Orr. Nebraska takes set number two. The service line for the Illini. Delivers another bullet. Murray goes flying. Beeson. How did she get that? That was unbelievable. That was make it look so easy, but let me tell you, that is so hard as a hitter to do. Off the block. Nebraska's defense getting it done here. Six blocks now in this match. Becca Halleck, their eyes are just focused on their attacker. They know where the ball's going, and they're able to execute. Sign out for the Illini. Tough one. Nebraska can't get it over. A rare little miss. It's going to happen, and guess what? There is room for error for Lexi Rodriguez because then she comes back and sets a perfect pass to then incorporate their middle. She's redeemed herself in my eyes.
Becca Alec with the put down with some authority. Nebraska with a one. The energy that she brings to this Nebraska team. Speaking of energy, Terry tries once again. Blackwell's been all over the net. You think you're there, and then all of a sudden in that third set, they just dominate. Terry tries the off-speed shot. Point Illini. Yeah, you're down to nothing, but you have to keep on coming out and playing and persevere. Blackwell gets the kill. Point Nebraska. Night only one error. And it was that weird one that kind of went out. She painted the line. That was her seventh kill of the match. Crossboard shot nicely done. Laney Smith. All American three-time All-State selection at a high school. Getting it done at the collegiate level. Blackwell off the block. Brief pause here to wipe off the floor inside of Huff Hall. Important work being done. And Harper Murray at the service line has one ace. Martinez Mundo handles it. Terry. Blackwell dug up again. Terry. Great hustle by the Huskers, but it's not enough. Raina Terry racks up another kill. She now has 10. Nebraska hustles with it, but Terry takes advantage of that, and that has, that leads a lot of momentum back into Illinois' side. Landfair. Hernandez goes off speed. Blackwell with the hot arm. Another kill. Your attacker maybe hits it in the net or hits it out. It's a little defeating of a feeling. It feels so hype. And they kill it, especially even there when it's off server seat. You get a perfect pass and even just slow it down. Joe Boy receives. Alec. Hernandez denied. Off the block, kept in play. Murray from the back row, but what a dig. Alec. Hernandez goes off speed, gets the points. And instead of, I mean, just perfect execution from Avery Hernandez. Landfair. Landfair again. Landfair, what a dig by Barry. Terry from the back row. It's Barry again. Great D. What a rally. Landfair denied. And a joust at the net. A misplay by Nebraska. And the Illini come out on top of an incredible rally. Making everybody on Nebraska a little bit nervous to execute that outer system play. The Illini with a one-point lead here in the third set with Reagan Riley at the service line. By the way, you may notice both number two the Rileys are on their respective teams. Landfair denied the block there again. Thomas did while he was on the staff back in 2015. Mentioned that they have a great relationship. Told us this morning they plan to catch up before the match as the Huskers battle back with a point. Coming off a tough weekend they are though. But in the Big Ten, every weekend's a tough weekend. They faced Oregon, they got swept. That's a top 10, 12 team in the country. Beeson, but a great play by Terry. Free ball over. Alec, another great dig. Barry won't let it die. Trying to go for high hands maybe on that one. It does take a touch, Illinois point. We just have to figure out where we want them to set, where we want to serve so we can know where the ball is going to be set. 
But Nebraska, with almost a 57% side out percentage, that's pretty, pretty good. So Illinois just really has to stay mentally locked in defensively, and they've done that through the first, let's see, 19 points. Yeah, I did some math. I can do math. <laughs> wow. Broadcaster and mathematician. Thank you so much, Kyla. Hernandez tries at it. Murray just rolls back over. Beeson off speed. Cross court shot does go wide. Point. And man, though, the Illini, Illini floor defense has really stood out. 40 digs. Stuffed at the net. Rebecca Alec with the block. Nebraska lead here. And that's just fantastic blocking from Becca Alec. Her body isn't necessarily there, but she's able to get a hand on the ball, use that 6-4, that wide wingspan. And then again, when you're blocking outside of your body, it's that much more imperative to press over the net. Tap into those fundamentals from your blocking techniques. Hernandez. <laughs> outside the antenna, so that's going to be a point for the Illini. Does finding a little bit of a seam off of the block, a moving block. Those are the points that Illinois needs to take advantage of. Murray with quite the rip. Out of play, point Nebraska. Going back to Becca Alex us into this one, 1.41 blocks per set, which is good for fifth in the Big Ten. A two-time All-Big Ten second-team selection and an All-Region selection as well. And real tight at the net. Murray finds that donut. Well, and we saw that last point that she got off of the overpass from Mundo. That was, I mean, that was a fast ball. I wouldn't want to be on the other side of that one. And then something wrong in my brain, Kylan. <laughs> I'm wired differently. I could have done three hours of just serve-receive from the ages of 12 on. And then you get that, right? So let's go back to Lexi. So important and a big reason why Lexi is a great defender. Yeah, her natural ability, but also she's got some of the best blockers in front of her, allowing her to be her. Beeson being her usual self as well with the kill. 167 is what she's hitting, not necessarily her most efficient, but a good response for her after a tough match against Washington where she had just four kills. Coach mentioned she flat out wasn't happy with herself after. She has aspirations, Raina Terry does, of playing professionally. And there's Terry with the attempt. Gets the point. Left side pin hitter. You're jumping a lot. You're touching the ball a lot. You have a lot to focus on. So again, she's she's consistent. She's there, going back to baseball, she's their third hitter. She's not their clean. She goes to the service line. Tough pass. Murray firing from the back row. Lily Berry has done a great job at serve receiving that specific ball. She's in that area run right back. Again, having a great pass. But again, when you're able to serve that area, it already sets you up for success defensively in blocking because you're able to just kind of read the setter a little bit better. Terry gets the point. Illinois still hanging around. They trail by two. All Big Ten selection, two-time All-Region selection as well. That time, a little too strong. Error, error leads to the point for Nebraska. They lead by three. Okay. But, <laughs> Raina Terry, I mean, we've seen some unforced errors in the last couple of points. Of course, she's put in work this match. And this is where it really is that mental push. For Lock in that much more in matches like this against teams like Nebraska. Philpot doing a great job locking in as a freshman, getting that last kill. That time around, though, it's a point for the Huskers. Lindsey Krause checks in, and right away, he 1.4 after that first ball side out. Tough serve from Riley. Hernandez. 
Denied point, Nebraska, Rebecca Holtz in this gym. No, absolutely, and it's, it's of course it's an opportunity to be playing in the Big Ten for Illinois, which is a storied program. They have Olympic alumni, so it's not, it's not like, you know, oh, they're not on that top 10 list, they're not on that top 25 list. Great defense and hustle there from Terry, but it wasn't enough to stop Becca Allen with the put down. Krause. Terry, nice defense again. Hernandez tips it over. Beeson, dug up by Martinez Mundo. Hernandez, another dig. Just at the net, the Illini with Battle tested in this match. Who can outblock each other on the on those specific kind of jump plays? Terry Bohm has made a quiet impact on this match. As there's a little bit of an overpass. Point called for Illinois on the violation. Pretty good efficiency there for the Huskers as Mosher is now at the service line. Another bullet right at Murray. Krause. Hernandez. Point Nebraska. Well, and I kill a couple points ago, and now defensively able to just set such a great pit block on that right side pin. Hernandez. Nice play by Mauk. Hernandez. Great play by Murray. Both teams laying it all on the line. A little confusion at the net. Alec puts it down. Point Nebraska. Murray is smiling. <laughs> I remember there was some chaos there right at the net. Trying to get out of the way, and then I think she was <laughs> leaning on her hair or something. Looked like she got stuck on her hair. Yeah, boy, hey, it happens, let me tell you. But Harper Murray was just a freshman last year. Andy Jackson, just a freshman last year. Two big impact players. That time, Illinois stuffed at the net. Fine. I think I've figured it out. Her earring got stuck on her hair, uh, and that we've all been there. The important detective work <laughs> the people needed to know. <laughs> yeah, this is why we have journalism degrees, right? <laughs> Hernandez. Alec puts it down. Nebraska. Fine. Nebraska on the brink of their third Big Ten win. Sent right back down. Nebraska closes out set number three, and they close out this match. The Cornhuskers 3-0 in Big Ten play. Great battle from Illinois right to the end. Close sets, but Nebraska is no 